Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, the climate guy setting the record straight about climate. In a previous video, I discussed how the Climate Ministry of Truth has tried to erase the 1970s global cooling scare. In this video, I discuss how they're trying to erase the world's record heat of 134 degrees in California in 1913. In George Orwell's novel, 1984, the job of the Ministry of Truth was to erase any inconvenient history. They would simply send it down the memory hole. 134 degrees in California during July of 1913 is very inconvenient history for those pushing the global warming scam. So like every other bit of inconvenient climate history, climate alarmists are trying to erase it. The website Weather Underground was named after Bill Ayer's terrorist group from the 1960s. They attempted to overthrow the U.S. government and kill American citizens. Weather Underground weather historian Christopher Burt said in 2016 that such an extreme temperature was not possible from a meteorological perspective. The message here, of course, being that such heat was not possible at lower levels of carbon dioxide. Fortunately, the U.S. Weather Bureau kept extremely good records about that station. Here's a photograph of the station from the January 1922 Monthly Weather Review. As you can see, the station is extremely well sighted. In fact, the sighting of this station is much better than the sighting of most of the stations in use now. Let's look and see what else the U.S. Weather Bureau had to say about that station. In 1911, the United States Weather Bureau established a weather station on Greenland Ranch in cooperation with the company which operates the ranch. Carefully tested maximum minimum thermometers together with a standard 8-inch rain gauge and a regulation instrument shelter were lent by the Weather Bureau and were installed under approved conditions. The extreme maximum temperature of 134 degrees recorded on July 10, 1913 is the highest natural air temperature ever recorded on the Earth's surface by the means of a tested standard thermometer exposed in a standard ventilated instrument shelter. By way of explanation, it should be stated that the instrument shelter used at this station is the same as those used at several thousand other weather stations maintained by the Weather Bureau throughout the United States. So there's no legitimate reason to be suspicious of these temperature readings. And look at the other temperatures from that week, starting on July 8th, 128. 129, 134, 129, 130, 131, 127. It was incredibly hot in California that summer. There's no legitimate reason to send these temperatures down the memory hole. They're just inconvenient for climate alarmists who are pushing global warming theory. Furthermore, according to NOAA records, June 16th of that year was the hottest June 16th on record in the United States. 1913 was an extremely hot summer and there's no reason to be suspicious of the temperatures. Let's look at some other things which have been sent down the memory hole. Another 1913 report from the Australian Weather Bureau reported 127 degrees at Bork on January 17th, 1877. The current Bureau of Meteorology in Australia has sent this down the memory hole. They've erased all temperatures prior to 1910. There was a lot of other extreme weather in 1913 besides the record heat. The Ohio River experienced one of the greatest floods in world history. Glaciers were disappearing all over the world. And the father of the global warming scam, Arrhenius, was really pushing his story hard in 1913. One of the greatest scientists in the world is Arrhenius of Sweden. He's a chemist and physicist. He shows that this proportion of carbon dioxide in the air will make the climate warmer by acting like a glass on a greenhouse. The temperature of the whole world will be raised by 8 to 9 degrees centigrade, and Greenland will have a good climate for farming. 
Bananas will fringe the shores of the Gulf. Siberia will become the greatest farming country in the world. Arrhenius had no idea what he was talking about. Eight to nine degrees centigrade warming, farming in Greenland, Siberia the greatest farming country in the world. Temperatures in Siberia are minus 70 degrees in the winter. What is he talking about? Climate alarmists have been wrong about global warming theory since at least 1913. And now they're trying to erase the record heat of 1913 to match their failed theory. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science for a long time.